Welcome to Real Physics. Today I want to share with you a speculation about dark matter. Now, what's the evidence for dark matter to begin with? And I would say the most solid, or I would even say the, the only solid, but let's remain unbiased, evidence for dark matter is flat rotation curves. Now, what does that mean? In our solar system, we have the planets rotating the orbiting the sun but the velocity falls off as you go to larger distances now the same thing should happen in a galaxy because more or less the mass of a galaxy is concentrated in the center and then you would expect that the velocities of the orbiting stars in this case or the clouds which also orbit the galactic center would also fall off with a one over square root of the distance but this is not observed. Every observation shows more or less the same velocity and that curve is if you plot the velocity as a function of the distance, you observe that flat picture. And this is strange. People invoked usually dark matter, but there are alternative ideas. And I had that idea time ago, but a young researcher from Brazil, Arturo Novaes, a chemical engineer worked it out nicely. We met at the Demysticon 2025 conference, which was a fantastic event organized by Anastasia and Shilo. And yeah, the idea is that galaxies are not stationary in the way we believe they are stationary. So what possibly could happen that you have a slight flow out in the disk with a radial direction and at the same time material or stars or whatever could be drawn in along the axis of rotation of these galaxies. Arturo calls that the galactic pizza but yeah I think it's a nice idea which potentially could explain the strange behavior of these galaxies and also don't forget there are lots of problems with galaxy formation you can't explain even the stability without invoking dark matter. This kind of strange form of a disk is really not easy to explain with classical ideas. And before you dismiss it, you know that we haven't that good data about the velocities because all usually all what we can measure is a velocity along our line of sight. That is for most galaxies this would be a tangential velocity with respect to the center, but we don't have very good data for radial velocity of other galaxies. In our galaxy it's a little different. Here we have almost the opposite problem. You can't easily detect a tangential motion. It's clear because the only possibility of detecting motion is via the Doppler effect. And if something just passes by at a distance, it won't notice that. And keep in mind, an entire orbit of our solar system around the center of the Milky Way takes 40 million years. Well, maybe we will be smarter in 40 million years. So at first sight, it sounds very exotic, but on the other hand, yeah, could be a possible explanation. Of course, you would have to figure out the underlying dynamics, but keep in mind, the data is not that clear. We don't have anything outside the solar system that cleanly confirms Newton's law. So there appears to be something wrong in the law of gravitation, especially at small accelerations. And yeah, this is an idea to solve this. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.